For more update, please subscribe Gossip America News YouTube channel and press the bell button. How does Kim Zolciak and Koi Bierman extend their ownership of their Georgia mansion? In 2022, the house was scheduled for foreclosure. However, it did not materialize and it was rescheduled for early 2023 while being prepared for auction. They can keep it now, but what happened to make it possible? Continue reading for further information. Regarding their cherished Georgia mansion, Kim Zolciak and Koi Bierman have had ups and downs. They exerted every effort to prevent it from going into foreclosure. The entire family denied anything was going on, even as the auction dates drew closer. Then, in early 2023, just before the couple filed for divorce, it miraculously came off the auction block. Additionally, they owed the IRS more than $1 million. Koi requested in their petitions that Kim vacate the home. Despite getting what he wanted, he ultimately could not afford the house, they listed it for $6 million. However, it appears that they have been able to save their home one last time. According to Radar Online, they made a deal with Truist Bank, allowing them more time to sell the home. Truist Bank and the Biermans have been in dispute as the couple alleges they are the owners of the Georgia mansion. Yet, Truist began a non-judicial foreclosure proceeding on the house. This foreclosure was actually supposed to occur early in November. Clearly, that did not happen as Kim Zolciak and Koi Bierman were hopeful someone would opt to purchase their love nest instead. They have already become the talk of the neighborhood due to allegedly unruly pups. Now they would prefer to leave on their own terms. Right now, it seems that they will have until early 2024 to resolve the situation. In a plea to the bank, Kim wrote this, our primary concern revolves around the home that we share, in which we have invested not only our finances but also our memories. The bank holds the mortgage for this property. And we are also burdened with a home equity line of credit, H-E-L-O-C, and unresolved IRS obligations. Kim Zolciak also noted that the sale of the home could largely benefit them with all of their debts. Finally, it would erase the fear of their children being homeless. As of now, it seems staying in the home has been beneficial to the couple. They look like they are reconciling after filing twice for divorce. Kim and Croy celebrated what would have been their 12th anniversary. Plus, they were together for the holidays, so working together on this may be the glue to hold them. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe our Gossip America News YouTube channel for more update news.